Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Osenball. And I'm Dylan Cassoni Burke. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. A Dean of St. Mary's College of Maryland, Joanne Goldwater, has learned a few tips to share about breast cancer awareness after surviving the disease four years ago. She's the Associate Dean for the Retention and Student Success. She shared the information with the Enterprise for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. She said, make sure that you're checking yourself regularly. If you find something, you feel something, you're worried about something, don't just sit back and wait. Meet with your doctor. The earlier you can receive a diagnosis, the better. She added that the American Cancer Society recommends annual mammograms every year for women over the age of 40. Clinical breast exams should be done every three years for women in their 20s and 30s. A new state mandated background check went into effect this year, resulting in vacancies in the school. St. Mary's Public Schools have 30 candidates yet to be, yet to be hired. On July 1st, House Bill 486, or the Child Sexual Abuse and Sexual Misconduct Code, became law, requiring specific documentation from candidates applying for public and non-public school positions. This will show whether an applicant has ever been disciplined for allegations of child sexual abuse or sexual misconduct. Nia Fenwick, a sixth grader at Esperanza Middle School, takes a bite out of her barbecue rib patty while sitting next to a classmate, Morgan Mattingly, on Thursday during National School Lunch Week, a program St. Mary's County Public Schools participate in to bring positive attention to the school lunch program. The Choptecon Braves football team have been honored once again after receiving their second Max Preps touchdowns versus cancer award in three years. Last Friday evening, the results may not have turned up in favor of the home team against Huntington High School. The Choptecon High School team still had a reason to celebrate. The Braves suffered a 33-7 setback to the visiting Hurricanes in the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Potomac Division contest. But for every touchdown scored in the games during September, money went to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. I can't think of a better cause to be associated with, said Choptecon head football coach Tony Lazanti. On Tuesday night, the Choptecon Braves broke their five-game losing streak going against the Great Mills Hornets. The Braves were able to beat the Hornets with a final score of 2-1. to one. The head coach of the boys' Choptecon soccer team had this to say about the game. I asked them to come out hard, and they did. I couldn't be more proud of them. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Osenball. And I'm Dylan Cassoni-Birch. Signing off.